Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm giving you a one year review of my Polen Numero Neuf mini bag. So if that sounds interesting to you, please stay tuned. So I've had this bag for about a year now. I did do a review when I first received it. If you haven't watched it, what are you doing with your life? Go ahead and watch it. I'll link it down below for you. But yes, I've had this for about a year. I have used this day to day and for travel. So she's been in the sun, in the rain and in the snow. I have not cleaned her or conditioned her at all and she still looks brand new. There's not a stitch out of place. The leather is not cracking at all. The Poland stamping here is, still looks great. And the handle also looks really good. There's no cracking at all. The bottom, even though it doesn't have any feet, still looks great, as you can see. And you guys, I do not baby this bag at all, especially when I am traveling. I have brought this everywhere and I find it to be very secure. I do keep this as a crossbody, but I also carry it as a top handle as well. The strap itself, let me just take it off. It's in great condition. The hardware looks really good still. The only thing I did notice, and mind you, uh, this is after I've used this bag so many times, you can see here on the strap, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It's peeling just a little bit, but not too bad. So I will put this to the side. The hardware here looks great. There are no scratches. And yeah, she looks amazing. So let me show you what I have inside of my bag. I do keep this locked when I am out and about. Um, the hardware looks great. Let's see. There are a little bit of scratches on it, but I don't mind that at all. So let me just start taking things out here. First thing I have are some tissues and my AirPods. I have let's see, this Tatcha serum stick. Let me show you. This is good on the go if you wanna just moisturize your face. I have my hand sanitizer, my beloved hand sanitizer. I have my pepper spray. I have my wallet. I have my pen, keys. I have some cash in here. Chanel mirror. I have some lippies here, a Burt's Bees chapstick, and then my lipstick. There's more guys. This is like the ultimate Mary Poppins bag. Uh, let's see. I have my snacks in here and I have some mints. So I have some mints. I have some chocolates. I have tahine powder. <laughs> hot sauce, a lollipop, electrolytes drink, a bar, and some tea. So there's that. I have my pill case. And last but not least, I have my EDC and it just has a pad, alcohol wipes, a sewing kit, some Aleve and Tylenol, Zycam, of course, some Colgate Wisps, Ricola hand sanitizer, nail cutter, Gerber, and some scissors. And there's some Band-Aids in there as well, and ointments. So there's that, and that is it. 
So you can't really see the inside because it's like a black hole, but the lining inside is still intact. There's no rips at all and it looks great. Now I wanna talk about the pros and cons of this bag. So let's start with the pros of this bag. I love the silhouette and its durability. Again, it's been in the rain, the sun, and in the snow. I do not baby this bag at all, and I'm happy there are no scratches on the hardware and the stitches are still intact. I love the versatility of this bag. You can use it as a top handle, or as a crossbody. And I love that you can use this casually or as an evening bag. And I love that it looks good on me on my 5-1 frame. It's not too big and not too small. And as you guys can see, I pack this bag to the max and it does not get heavy for me. Now, as far as cons go, there are no cons for me, but I have heard some people complain about the opening of this bag. As you can see, you can't just put things directly inside. You have to kind of angle it down and then put it inside like that. And that can be tricky, but it's not an issue for me. Another con that I've heard about this bag is it's hard to organize things. But as you can see for me, I use pouches for most of the stuff that's inside. So again, that's not an issue for me. And then one last con I do want to talk about is the price increase. When I purchased this bag in 2023, it was $420. Now it is up to $520. Oh, and they charge for shipping, which is $20. But for a beautifully crafted handbag like this, I think it's worth it. So let's start putting my things back inside. Do you guys have this bag? And if you do, how's yours holding up? Yeah, because I bring this with me for travel and I love it because it's so hard to get into. And I think this would be a great bag to prevent pickpocketers but let me just see how you just have to play tetris with this bag and i just like to throw my things in here again you don't see my cell phone in my bag because i always have it in my hand but my 12 mini fits like a glove so I'll put everything back in and then my tissues. A lot of the times I don't even bother closing this at all. I wear this mostly crossbody, but even when I use the crossbody strap, sometimes I will hold it top handle and it looks great. So yeah, I know Polen has done some price increases, but I love this bag. I highly recommend this bag if you're looking for something cute, just like a little dumpling. So yeah, it's definitely worth it to me, especially for the quality of this bag. So there is my one year review of this Polen Numero Neuf mini bag. Would I buy this bag at the current price? Yes, 100%. I love this as a day-to-day -day bag and it's great for travel, so highly recommend. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.